Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links or they're in the Amazon store. And if you'd like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be notified when I post videos, hit that notification bell and likes, comments, questions are welcome. And I am doing a voiceover. I, <laughs> my house, uh, you know, I have an elderly parent living with me and well, the TV's really loud sometimes. So I chose to go ahead and paint and I'm just gonna do the voiceover, which I can't stand doing. Anyway, um, what I put down was crimson. Put it down and I took my Revlon dryer and I blew around it and got it really dry. Now, in the little bottle I'm holding right there is the Sapphire Blue from Pinata. I have diluted it with uh, the 99% or 91%, one or the other, alcohol. And it makes, when I use it in this type of uh, situation, it makes the blue just bluer. And instead of me trying to activate the dry ink like the crimson is, this just it just makes it more brilliant so what I'm doing instead of putting the straight alcohol I am putting the sapphire mixture uh, on top of the crimson and then I'm blowing it out so you can see how blue that is and if it was just the clear alcohol it would have some of the white in there from the paper so I really like this style if you really want something real bright and brilliant and fills up a lot of space this is a great way to do it If you blew these faster, they would have those little fringy things on the side of the petals. And that's a fun look too.
So when I get it about to where I think it would make a real pretty card or it fills up that space, I have taken some cardstock and cut out the size of my picture for my card. And I'll take it and put it on top of it and then I can see what kind of card I'm going for. Now I had a big old white spot right there that I didn't want. So I'm gonna blow out um, another petal on top of that. I don't mind some, but I don't like a big chunk of white. <laughs> that is not Henry. <laughs> uh, that is a lab puppy that found a toy. Yeah, it's a black lab. And she's about three months old. That's my daughter's dog. <laughs> and I so I gotta take his toy away from her. <laughs> always something it's like i don't know that i've ever filmed <laughs> and something not happen <laughs> okay back to business so <laughs> i've i've put petals enough to where i'm liking how this card's gonna look and so i take a black marker and put around um it made a, a center for the flower and i just kind of go ahead and fill that in I'm sitting outside. <laughs> Nuts. And then I've got um, a Posca pen that I'm going to use. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, not yet. Then I'm taking this black marker and I'm taking the pointy end. And I'm putting just dots all the way uh, up and down these petals. And I want the bigger ones closer to the center of the flower. And then I let them kind of fade out and get smaller as they go down. Uh, just add something fun to the picture. I just really like doing this and I do it on a lot of my flowers and uh, It just makes it fun makes it more interesting. I think Of course, it's your creation. You can do whatever you want to do Okay, now I'm taking my Posca pen. These are pretty good. They're an acrylic ink type of pen, and they really do well. Now, had I sprayed this with Kmart, my white would have stayed very, very white. And But since I didn't, it's going to pick up some of the color, and it's going to kind of fade and not be so bright. And that's okay. Sometimes I, I don't want it to just stand out. Um, other times, you know, I want it to be just really bright and be the center of attention. I don't know if y'all can hear that. They're, I, don't get, I don't know if they're locusts or crickets or something, but something gets real loud in the trees for a little while and then it settles down. Now I've got the little um, micro brush there. I use this just to kind of make the white dots not a complete circle. I just kind of mess them up a little bit. Um, I still like the distinction and the pokey dotty look, but I just don't want them clean circles. Uh, again, sometimes I like that. Sometimes I choose not to have it. So you can do that with a paintbrush. You can do it with a Q-tip. You can do it with a micro brush. There's just a lot of things. Oh gosh, I hit the toy that time. <laughs> Scared me. <laughs> so you can use a dog toy. I don't care. Just use something if you want to mess it up. <laughs> ah, that scared me. <laughs> thought of what if I stepped on a mouse? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> I've lost track of where I'm at. Oh, glitter glue. So my second favorite thing in the world is glitter glue. <laughs> uh, 
So, yeah, this is really neat. Um, it's a lot of fun to do. Once my um, white kind of dries, you can put that on there. And if you've got a clear base to it and just some sparkly or mother of pearl type glitter, um, it will still show your pattern through it, which is pretty cool. Now, I have since this video used the Tim Holtz stickler. I think it's called. It's not in front of me, but um, you're talking about packed full of glitter. That one's packed full of glitter. Of course, you could also put glue on it and put some glitter, but you lose whatever pattern you had underneath. Um, so that's another choice you got to make, deciding whether you want it straight glitter or uh, you want to see some pattern underneath with some glitter on it. Both are pretty. I've done some that I've put straight glitter on and it's just they're they're so pretty now here I'm taking it and just making little lines because you know a flower has those little sticky outy things right in the center sometimes so I'm putting those in I like them I, I just I like the look of them and it kind of takes away from that perfect little center Another toy. For all the noise I'm having, I probably should have just videoed with the TV on. You gotta love puppies. They're crazy. Alright, look how cool that is. Such a pretty, pretty picture. All right, I appreciate you joining me, and y'all go have fun, and God bless you.